Hi, we are going to make blueberry muffins. Now, don't freak out on me. They're, we're not using um, real blueberries. We're keeping this very low carb, so trust me on this. We're going to start by mixing the dry ingredients, and that's really, really simple. I'm going to use one third of a cup of whey protein isolate. This is unflavored, but vanilla would work great in this. And I'm just going to put that in. And then I've got oat fiber, and so I'm mixing a third of a cup of oat fiber. And last, I'm going to put in a third of a cup of almond flour, this is finely ground. Now let me say a little note about the um, co um, oat fiber. If you don't have oat fiber or you don't feel comfortable using it, you can use two tablespoons of coconut flour. That works well. Two tablespoons of coconut flour. Okay, so I'm going to take my flours as a third of a cup of each, third cup whey protein isolate, one third cup of almond flour, and one third cup of oat fiber or two tablespoons. Um, Jonathan's going to help me. And Jonathan, what we're going to do next is we're going to add in one, that's one teaspoon of glucomannan. Can you put that in there? Oh. Right in there. There you go. Glucomannan. You can also use xanthan gum. Sure, and glucomannan, yep, that's fine. Glucomannan just makes it thick. It gives a nice texture. And this is one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. You want to throw that in? And we're using a whisk to mix up the dry ingredients because you want to, you don't have to, you can sift it, but you don't have to. Um, and so you just want it to be light and fluffy um, because this is gonna give a great texture to our finished muffins. Do you like blueberry muffins, Jay? No, <laughs> not this kind. And this is a half teaspoon of salt. Excuse me, quarter teaspoon. I don't like any blueberry stuff. You don't like any blueberry stuff? You eat, like to eat fresh blueberries. Yeah, but not blueberry pancakes or anything. <laughs> This is a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're using salted butter, and so using just a quarter teaspoon of salt to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay, when that's mixed well, we're going to move over here. Smells good. Smells good. We're going to move it here, and let's do our wet ingredients. Okay, so we'll set this aside. You've done a great job okay. just whisking it around. All right, over here, mm -hmm. let's put that butter. This is four ounces of butter. Put the butter in here. We're just gonna, can you dump it in? Can you get it? There you go. So four ounces of butter, and what we're gonna can you, do. Can you take the bowl off? Here, I'll, yeah, we can lower it. There you go, now put it in. Um, you can, and the butter is cold. It's not melted. You wanna make sure it's still relatively cold when you're doing this. And you can turn it on to about four, Jonathan. And we're gonna whip the butter up, because what happens to butter when you whip it, do you know? You're putting air in it, and the butter actually may change um, color and get a little bit lighter as it, you whip air into it. Now, with the butter, you're going to add sweetener, and this is about a half to three quarters of a oh, cup. It's all puffed up. That's fine. You can keep it going. It'll come out. It's sticking. Hang on. There you go. It was sticking to the beater. You can use a hand mixer for this. It works equally well. That's sweetener. That's sucrin. I'm using three quarters of a cup of sucrin, um, and I'm actually using the sucrin one. It's this one, and you can use the sucrin plus. I really love that too. But that's just about three quarters to a cup. Let's get all that in. <laughs> mashed potatoes. It does look a little bit like mashed potatoes. We want that to go until it's really, really creamy, and. We're just beating it up. See how it's getting lighter? It's yeah. a much uh, lighter yellow, isn't it? We're going to put the, um, actually going to put this in next. Now? Mm -hmm. okay. That is four ounces of cream cheese. So we put in four ounces of butter, three quarters of a cup of sweetener, and we're putting in four ounces of cream cheese. And again, it's been in the fridge. It's not softened. We don't want to get the texture mixture too warm. It's going to play with the texture of the finished product. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Okay, once, you're going to let that go for a little bit, and then we can stop it. We'll scrape the sides down, but it's looking good. I think these are going to be some pretty awesome muffins. It still looks like mashed potatoes. It still looks like mashed potatoes. Okay, let's add in one egg. We're going to add three eggs total, but we're going to do our eggs pretty much one at a time. So there goes the first guy. And we may have to stop and scrape down 
um, some of the, the sides. But so far it's doing pretty well, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do I add the next one? You can do the next one. It's great to have help in the kitchen. Grace has helped me, but Jonathan doesn't get to help me often. Got it? Left egg. Uh, let that go for just a little bit. In fact, let's stop it and we'll scrape the sides down. We're going to stop it and Ooh, scrape down the sides. Silly. It is getting a gooey texture. It's gone from mashed potato to what texture? Mm. Looks like a milkshake. More like a milkshake texture. There you go. All right, let's get that hopping. There you go. The four, the six, the eight, the ten. All right, you can throw that last egg in there and it's going to be even gooier. Perfect. How's it looking? It smells sweet. It smells sweet? Mm -hmm. Can you make me some of these except um, not low carb? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe you could use the low carb Lily's chocolate. Use the low carb what? The Lily's chocolate. Oh, the Lily's chocolate. Jonathan loves Lily's. You know what? I got a chocolate muffin over there if you want to try it. And I put the Lily's chocolate in that chocolate muffin. All right, Jonathan, this is looking good. All right. It smells good too. It does smell good, doesn't it? Yes. Okay, so right. do we add the um, dry to the wet? Not yet. We've got a few more ingredients to add. Let's add sour cream. Okay. Is this the sour cream? That's the sour cream. How much? Just the Hang whole bowl? Hang on a second. <laughs> Let me lower that. The whole bowl? That scared you, didn't it? Yeah. Whole thing. That is one third of a cup. That is one third of a cup of um, sour cream that we're going to add. I don't want the sour cream in mine. No, this, you know what? The sour cream gives a great moist texture. Notice we didn't put any milk. Well, it's not sour, sweetheart. Why is it called sour cream? Oh, that's a great question. It has to do with the milk, how they treated the milk. It's just really thick. We could also use creme fraiche if, we, if I had thought about it. But it just makes it really creamy and moist. Don't knock the sour cream. No, it's not sour. No, it's not sour. That's right. You thought it would be kind of bitter tasting. Yeah, because some dripped off and on my fingers, so I decided why not taste it. That was the third cup. Now, that is a teaspoon of vanilla. <sighs> Doesn't that make so it good. good? Pour that in. And this is a full teaspoon of blueberry extract. The blueberry extract is what gives it a really nice, and pour that in. Are those blueberries? Those are the freeze dried blueberries. We'll get to that. Throw in that teaspoon of vanilla. You can't see it because it's clear, but it's there. So throw that in. But that's what gives it the um, flavor. Do you like to mix it a little more? We do. I'm going to take it off the stand now because we don't want to. We want to hand stir that. Okay. So I'm just going to. Sure, you can stir it. We're just going to stir that in by hand until you get it pretty well mixed. How's it looking? Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, and this is like, so the blueberry extract I'm using is Silver Cloud Estates. I'm almost out, so I've got to order some more. I get it off of Amazon, so um, don't get any before I get a chance to restock. It was out okay. of stock, but last time I checked. Is this enough? That's enough. Now let's add a little at a time of this. And we want to stir it, oops, we want to stir it lightly. So when you're stirring it, yeah, gently, there you go. That's perfect. And I'll add a little more as you go. You just don't want to over mix it. It really does make a difference in the texture. Okay. Looks good, Jonathan. Can I give it a whiz on the side and then I'll let you do the blueberries? Thank you. I'm just going to get the sides real quick. And again, fairly gentle hand. Ah, we got to get the bottom, don't we? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Looking good? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you stir just looks, a little more. Um, it looks kind of like um, cake mix. It does, doesn't it? It is like a cake. And I'm going to put these in. These are freeze dried um, blueberries from Trader Joe's. Do I need to kind and of overlap it? Like that? Yes, that's right. Fold it over. That's perfect. Just folding these in. Um, these are freeze dried blueberries. There are about 14 carbs, I think, and 17 grams. And so when you make 12 muffins, you're just adding it roughly a carb uh, per berry for this. And so it comes up to be, I want to say it's three total carbs per muffin. Can I trust you with the batter? <laughs> I can trust you with the batter. Wow, Jay, that looks good. 
all right, you know what? We're ready to put them in here. The easiest way to do it is to use a ladle. Do what? Can I take some upside? Yes, you want to try the batter? Yeah. How do we do? Is it sweet enough? Mm -hmm. Do we need to put any liquid sweetener? We always taste for sweetness. Although it also tastes kind of strong. It does taste strong because we're going to, um, it has a baking powder in it. And then when you bake it, it has different. So I'm just going to take this, ladle it out, and I'm going to put it evenly among the 12 muffins. What do you think? Do you think you want to try one when it's done? Sure. Um, I have made this recipe using the coconut flour. You want to do it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let Jay work on this, and then we're going to put them in the oven. The oven is on 375. We're going to let them go for about seven or eight minutes on 375. Then we're going to turn the oven down to 350 to finish them off about 12 minutes or so. Uh, we'll give you that update when we come back to show you the finished product. So the muffins that Jonathan and I made are ready, and they've cooled for a little bit. What do you think, Jonathan? They look and probably taste good. <laughs> they smell really good. We, um, they had a nice dome on them, and then as they cooled, they imploded a little bit. So Jonathan, you're not going to try it? No, not interested. Okay, let's see what we have. I have made these so many times and these are really pretty. They've done well. I think we finally had the recipe right. Um, I'm going to pull it apart and it has just a great, it looks moist, lots of nooks and crannies. I didn't get one with many blueberries. Let me try that again. There's some blueberry. The freeze dried blueberries hold up so well in this. This is one reason I really love using them. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. I'm going to hand one off to David. They're incredible. They Absolutely really have a great cake-like taste. I want to play with this recipe a little bit more, but this is really very tasty. It's tender. It, um, I think it would make a great white cake mix or yellow cake mix. And you certainly could leave out the blueberries. You'd have to reduce the, the uh, sugar to make a savory muffin, but these um, these are one of my favorites. I think that if you make them for your family that they'll enjoy them too.